Hello and welcome to Planet Zoo, where our brand new improved food court is looking a lot better. There's still some congestion on the path and everybody has gone into the frog house. I don't know why. But yeah, when I deleted the paths and they all entered the zoo, they all went here. I think they're so hungry they want to eat my frogs. Go away, stop trying to eat the frogs. Shoo, shoo. But yeah, um, not sure why, but when I deleted the paths in the food court, that is where they all went, into the frog house. Oh well, the food court is working out. The bigger space seems to be helping. Uh, let's take a look at the tigers, because I finished their habitat. And here we have the Siberian tiger, including our big white fellow. I kind of prefer orange tigers myself over white tigers, but I have a white one. Um... Beside the Siberian tigers are the Bengal tigers, which I like better. Ah, so pretty. So pretty. So the Bengal tigers have a nice uh, deep pool to dive in, because apparently they like to dive and they can eat the fish enrichment in here. So I built a little underwater viewing window for them to uh, watch the tigers swim. Oh, there he goes. Swimming, swimming. Oh, and he dives. Yep, looks like he wants some of those fish. Mmm, delicious. But yeah, so people can now stand out here and watch the tigers swim. I think that would be really cool if that was a real thing in uh, any zoos near me. Granted, there are no zoos near me anymore. I miss zoos. Oh, they're all so far away now. I don't live close to one anymore. I used to live close to a really nice one, but not anymore. Let's see if I can't get a picture. Why not? It's kind of dark, though, and that's going to really ruin everything. Yeah, anyways, we're making progress in the zoo. Uh, we're making money quite regularly, steadily now, which is awesome. I could start building more fancy things and putting in the bigger animals like tigers that are expensive to feed. Yeah, it takes a bit to get started it, as a brand new zoo, and you do, and I kind of flip flop between loans to get, help me get going. But once you get going, it, it really starts snowballing. All right, I don't think I'm going to get a good picture here, but let's, let's wait for daylight, and then I'll show you the rest of the new stuff. Okay, so we also added the clouded leopard in here. Very cool little fella. Look at you, so pretty. You gonna jump up in your hammock? You gonna jump in your hammock? Oh, where'd you go? Oh, you jumped over your hammock. Why did you do that, you silly cat? Anyways, yes, the clouded leopards are in here. I put in a lovely little waterfall. Um, I got this cool log shelter off the steam workshop. Someone else made it. These are the cougars. Where are my cougars? Oh, there's one. I like the cougars, and it gives me a reason to use the desert plants, which I hardly ever get to use. So the cougars are happy. Um, I added them recently, so let's make sure they can't escape anywhere. Okay, good. Alright. So none of those are new. We've had them before. They're just new to this zoo. Let's check in on the food court. Still looking okay. Alright, so the next new thing are the cassowary. They're not new new, just new to the uh, park, to the zoo. So yeah, we got some cassowary. Now let's look at the actual new creatures. These are from the Wetland DLC, Capybara. I don't think I showed off the Capybara in the one episode I did on the Wetland DLC. So here they are, Capybara. I have, um, hold on a moment. I need to get rid of these foxes before they start fighting. Uh, I'm just gonna release them all to the wild, why not? That's the problem, when your zoo gets big enough, you start, uh... Oh, they look at your zoo, little baby! Got a little baby capybara. Yeah, once your zoo gets big, you start having animals fighting, animals growing up, animals having babies, animals getting old and dying, and it's so much to take care of that usually it's easier to just pause the game and show stuff that way, because otherwise I'm spending all my time managing the existing park. Yep, we got Capybara and little baby Capybara. 
Um, I have some albinos, which is weird, because none of the parents were albinos. The babies just were born albino. So that's really odd. I'm not sure how that happened. There was no inbreeding involved. They just came out albino. But yeah, we got two little albinos in there. So this is the capybara habitat from the Wetland DLC. I don't think I've shown you guys these guys yet, and I've tried to cover the animals I didn't show off before. They have a little underwater viewing. Pretty cool in my book. I love doing underwater viewings. I just think that's really neat. We have a little Asian food court right here. And then the other new animal, this one is also Wetland DLC, are the Red Crowned Crane. Very cool. I'm very happy to have these. We need more birds in Planet Zoo. Got a couple little chickies, little chick chicks going on. I tried to make them a pretty habitat, but it's not really providing itself well for pictures. These guys also don't really lend themselves well to pictures because they don't do anything like opening their wings. I've never seen them open their wings. But I think these guys are really cool and they are a very endangered species. So, you know, that's nice to have a, uh, have them represented in game. Very nifty little fellas. I look forward to uh, having a bunch of them. Got our little chicky chickies here. Hello, little chicky chickies. But yeah, so the zoo's progressing well. Now that I'm making a lot more money, I can start adding more animals at one time. Oh, this pagoda is a shelter I made using an existing item where I deleted everything inside of it to make it hollow. Oh no, too many plants. I just added these guys, so they're a little, uh, they're, they're still getting used to their habitat here. Okay, that's all of that. There's still too many plants. Hmm, we'll get rid of this tree. That's the sad thing is I like to decorate, but I tend to decorate too much for how many plants the animals want to have. All right, we're gonna get rid of this bamboo here. It's not like anyone's seeing it anyways. Oh, still unhappy, but you're a lot less unhappy. Get rid of that bamboo. Get rid of that bamboo. I don't want to get rid of your water plants. I like your water plants. You know what? Um, you're close enough to being happy. I think that's fine. I've made the fence very short so people can just look straight over the fence instead of... Uh, Instead of having to worry about a window or anything like that. Because for some reason the cranes aren't going to escape in, over such a short fence, so that's weird. Okay, why is there no educator assigned to this talking point? Is it not in the work zone? Oh, it's not in the work zone. Okay, we'll get those over there too. There we go. Alright, well I don't ha actually have a... Oh wait, hold on. My Oryx is trying to inbreed. That's no good. Get out of here. No inbreeding. Alright, how does this whole zoo look over here? Alright, things are looking better. Anyways, um, this is a bit of a shorter episode. I don't have a super long time to record, but I wanted to cover the new additions to the zoo. So, we're gonna leave it here with the capybara, the tigers, the clouded leopard, the, and these cranes as our newest zoo friends. The zoo itself, I think, is looking quite nice. I like- I like- Are you trying to inbreed again? Stop! Stop trying to mate with your daughters! Seriously, awkward. Stop. Stop it. Ugh. Alright, anyways, we're gonna leave the zoo here. I'm gonna manage all the babies that were born while I or got old or matured while I was recording. And I will see you all in the next one. I think I'm gonna add some more of the new wetland animals to uh, next time. Where, where, what's going on here? Okay, my tiger's just paddling around. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.